Hello, this is Laura Jane Sarkody, and in this short video, I'm going to walk you through how to create lists and how to manage lists via Twitter. So you can see here, I am on the home screen of my own Twitter profile, just via twitter.com, you can see in the URL. To create a new list, all I need to do is click on the tag, or the toggle here on the top right hand side, you'll see on the first part of the drop down menu, the first thing I come across is lists. I'm going to click on lists. Now, I've got no live list here at the moment simply because I've just deleted all of the lists I had previously because I was actually targeting large to, to corporate sized businesses until about six months ago. So actually those lists aren't very relevant to me anymore. So it's a great opportunity to, to show you how to create a new list. So on the right hand side, I'm just going to click create new list. I'm going to call this coaches. You can add a description if you want, you don't have to. Now the two privacy options, the first one there is public so anyone can follow that list. Some benefits there are a when you add someone to a list they will get a notification that you've been added to that list, uh, they've been added to your list what that will encourage them to do, certainly when I've been added to lists historically, um, I will encourage you to view that person's profile and may well encourage more follows from those people that you're adding to your lists. The other thing is other people can follow those lists so as you're building them up you're actually sharing the love by uh, bringing a certain group of people together within a list. The other option there is private, so if you only want to be the only person to, to be able to access and view that list, then keep it private. In this case, I'm just going to keep it public, that's absolutely fine with me, and I'm going to click save list. Okay, so you can see it takes me straight through to the list, you can see we've got no members, no subscribers at this stage. So we want to start adding people to that list, so if I click back on me at the top and they're going to be people who are following me already or who I am following that I'm going to want to add to that particular list. So I'm going to click on followers. I want coaches if you remember so I'm just going to have a quick scan through. Okay we've got Michelle here, she is a coach so I'm going to on the drop down menu add or remove from lists. Now if you've got multiple lists it will show you all of those lists, just click on the one you want to add to, and there you go, you can actually create a brand new list from here as well instead of going in from the initial way I showed you. Uh, let's see if there's anyone else here, there's another coach, okay, add, remove from list, have one more just for the purposes of this video. Okay, so when I click back into lists, so again back to the toggle, into lists, you can see if I had multiple lists they'd be listed here, I've got three members might just want to click in there and it will show me then all of the tweets or retweets from those people. What I can do from here is actually engage with them directly, so retweet, favourite, reply to that person, start a conversation. So just to be clear, the person, people you are adding to your list don't need to be part of your own community, so you don't need to be following them, they don't need to be following you. Uh, but you may well find that they are within those lists. So it's a really great way of segregating certain data or certain groups of people or certain locations, however you want to do it. It might be on a particular topic. So you might do a search on, uh, let's say, mum, for instance. So we might want to search uh, mum. So your target audience might be mums. You just want to see people. So on the top left hand side here, um, so we've got mums here, okay we've got fern cotton, so again we might want to add to a list, create a list, mum, let's 
other than private, save list, and then you can add that person from there. So really simple way. You might also want to use follower want, which I covered in a previous video, to find certain types of people to add to those lists. The great thing is then you can start monitoring what your target audience are talking about. Um, so what they're tweeting about, what is of particular interest to them. So you can really start tailoring your own content based on what they are sharing, what they're tweeting and what's of interest to them. So that's really fantastic to be able to go in and review those lists on a regular um, basis. The other thing you might want to do for those of you who do use Hootsuite, I'm just going to click on Hootsuite very briefly. You have the option to add streams. Now I'm gonna do a separate video on Hootsuite, um, on streams and, and certainly searching for particular tweets um, that may be of interest to you that will help you to add people to these lists. But just to show you as an example, I'm gonna add a stream here. So you can see I'm on my Twitter page. I'm gonna add a stream. I'm gonna click on lists at the top right hand side. Um, link to the LJ Sarkody Twitter profile. Okay, and I've got two here, the one that I've just created, which was mum, private, and I've got my coaches. So I'm gonna click on coaches. Again, you've got the option to create a new list from here if you want. All you would do here is add stream. So again, it's a really simple way. As I continue adding people to that list, that will come on a stream for me. So I don't have to go into Twitter click into list, then go into each one individually to see them, I could actually have three or four lists all beside each other on my Hootsuite account so I can just easily scroll through and see what they're talking about and engage with those people from there. So I hope that's been useful for you. If you do have any questions around lists or how you manage them or the benefits of them, then please just drop me a tweet to at LJ Sarkody and I will do my very best to help. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.